Have you ever faced moments in life where it feels like everything is falling apart? When the weight of your problems feels unbearable and you start to wonder, where is God in all of this? You are not alone, you know, but here is the powerful truth. God's goodness is not distant. It is right here, right now, waiting to flood your life with blessings and protection. Psalm 27 is a divine reminder that even amid your deepest struggles, God's goodness surrounds you. In this video, we are going to unlock that power and together we will release prayers that will invite God's favor, breakthroughs and miracles into your life. Stay with me till the end because what we are about to do can change everything. Welcome, beloved brethren, to this moment of prayer and reflection. Today, we will unlock the power of God's goodness in our lives through the timeless words of Psalm 27. This psalm, written by David, is a beautiful declaration of faith, hope, and trust in the Lord, especially in times of fear and uncertainty. It is a psalm that speaks of God's goodness and protection, reminding us that even in the midst of life's battles, we can be confident in God's care and blessings. In Psalm 27, verse 1, David boldly proclaims, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? This verse reminds us that God is both our light, guiding us through darkness, and our salvation, rescuing us from all danger. His presence removes fear, and when we trust in Him, we can stand firm, knowing that no threat is greater than our God. On a side note, remember to subscribe so you do not miss other videos about prayer from our channel. Verses 2 and 3 reassure us of God's power over our enemies. When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besieges me, my heart will not fear. Though a war breaks out against me, even then I will be confident. These words are a reminder that no matter how overwhelming our circumstances may seem, God will protect us, causing our enemies and obstacles to fail in their attempts to bring us harm. David's heart in verse 4 is focused on one thing. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. This verse calls us to prioritize God above all else. Our greatest desire should be to live in His presence, to experience His goodness every day of our lives, and to seek Him earnestly in prayer and worship. In verse 5, David says, For in the day of trouble He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Here we are reminded of God's promise to keep us safe in difficult times. No matter the storms we face, God is our shelter lifting us above the chaos and keeping us secure in His care. Verse 6 speaks of victory and joy. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At His sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. As God brings us through trials, our response should be one of praise. He lifts us above our challenges, and we give Him all the glory for His goodness and faithfulness in our lives. In verses 7 to 10, David cries out for God's mercy and guidance. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Uh, these verses remind us of the importance of seeking God earnestly in times of need, trusting that He will never abandon us, even when the world does. In verses 11 and 12, David asks God to lead him, Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise against me, spouting malicious accusations. This is a prayer for guidance and protection from those who wish us harm. We are to seek God's direction and trust that He will protect us from deceit and opposition. Finally, in verses 13 and 14, David expresses his unwavering hope. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. 
These closing verses are a powerful declaration of faith. Even when life feels uncertain, we are called to wait on the Lord to be strong and to trust that His goodness will be revealed in our lives. So as we enter into this time of prayer, let us meditate on these powerful words from Psalm 27. Let us believe that God's goodness will be unlocked in every area of our lives, bringing healing, breakthroughs, blessings, and protection. Stay with me till the end, because we will be praying together, and I believe God is about to do something powerful in your life. Psalm 27 is not only a reminder of who God is, but also a declaration of what He is ready to do in our lives today. Let us now enter a time of prayer, fully trusting in God's goodness and His ability to bless and transform every part of our lives. In the most powerful, victorious, and righteous name of Jesus, we pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, we come before you in sincerity and humility. We are completely in awe of your goodness in our lives and your tender mercies. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. There is none like you, O Lord. You are our light in the darkness, our shelter in the storm, and our strong tower when the world seems to crumble around us. We thank you for your unwavering goodness that is with us every day. We bless your holy name for being Jehovah Jireh, our provider, for being Jehovah Rapha, our healer, and Jehovah Nissi, our banner of victory. Lord, you are El Elyon, the Most High God, and no one compares to you. We exalt you, for your mercy endures forever, and your goodness follows us all the days of our lives. Father, we give you praise because you have been so good to us, even in times when we did not see it. Your blessings have covered us, and your favor has gone before us. We honor you for your faithfulness, for you have never left us nor forsaken us. Lord, we worship you for who you are, holy, mighty, and worthy of all praise. Lord, just as Psalm 27 begins, we declare that you are our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? We place our trust in you, knowing that your goodness shields us from every harm. Father, protect us from the enemies that seek to steal our joy, peace, and hope. Guard our hearts and minds against every attack of the enemy. Let your divine protection surround us, our families, and everything we hold dear. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, because we dwell under the shadow of your wings. Father God, we ask for peace amid every storm. Just as David sought your presence, we too seek to dwell in your house all the days of our lives. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, calm every fear and anxiety in our hearts. Remind us that in your presence there is fullness of joy and perfect peace. Let your goodness calm every storm in our lives and lead us beside still waters. We thank you, Lord, for your protection, your peace, and your unwavering presence. Gracious Lord, we declare that your goodness is not a distant promise, but a present reality in our lives. Today, we call upon your goodness to manifest in every area of our lives, our health, our relationships, our finances, our work, and our spiritual walk with you. Father, bless us abundantly, not for our sake alone, but so that we may be a blessing to others. Let your goodness be evident in our actions our words, and our thoughts. May your goodness overflow in us so that we can be a light to the world around us. Father, we ask for your blessings upon our families. Strengthen our bonds and fill our homes with love, peace, and unity. Where there is division, bring reconciliation. Where there is hurt, bring healing. Let your goodness flow through our relationships, drawing us closer to one another and you. Lord, we also ask for a downpour of your goodness in our workplaces. Bless the work of our hands and grant us favor with our colleagues and supervisors. May we walk in excellence and integrity, 
reflecting your goodness in all that we do. Lord, we also pray for healing, healing of the body, healing of the mind, and healing of the soul. For those battling sickness, we ask for your healing to come upon them. For those struggling with mental and emotional wounds, we ask for your comfort and restoration. Lord, let your goodness bring wholeness to every broken area of our lives. You are Jehovah Rapha, our healer, and we trust in your power to restore us completely. Father, we long to grow deeper in our relationship with you. Just as David sought to dwell in your house all the days of his life, we seek to draw closer to you. Strengthen our faith, Lord, and help us to trust in your timing. We know that your goodness will come to pass in our lives, but sometimes we struggle with doubt and impatience. Help us to wait on you, just as Psalm 27 verse 14 encourages us. Lord, give us the strength to persevere in faith, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. Help us to trust that your plans for us are for good and not for harm, to give us hope and a future. Let your goodness be the anchor of our souls, keeping us grounded in faith even when we cannot see the way ahead. Heavenly Father, we especially pray for those facing difficult choices today, whether in their careers, relationships, or personal lives, we ask that you grant them clarity and peace. Remove confusion, Lord, and replace it with divine insight. Let your goodness shine upon them, illuminating the right path. Help us to trust in your plan, even when we don't understand it, knowing that your ways are higher than our ways and your thoughts higher than our thoughts. Jehovah Jireh, our provider, we come to you with open hearts, trusting in your ability to meet all our needs. You are the God who provides, and we believe that you will supply everything we need according to your riches in glory. Father, we ask for your divine provision in every area of our lives. For those struggling financially, we pray for breakthroughs and abundance. Open the windows of heaven and pour out your blessings, Lord, so that there will not be room enough to contain them. We declare that lack and scarcity have no place in our lives because we serve a God of abundance. Father, just as you provided manna in the wilderness and fed the multitudes with just a few loaves and fishes, we trust that you will provide for us in miraculous ways. Let your goodness overflow in our finances and teach us to be good stewards of the resources you have entrusted to us. Bless the work of our hands, and may everything we touch prosper, all for the glory of your name. We also declare victory over every battle we are facing, just as David declared in Psalm 27 that his enemies would stumble and fall. We declare that every plan of the enemy against us will fail. We are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us, and we stand in the victory that you have already won for us on the cross. Thank you, Lord, for fighting our battles and for giving us victory. We trust in your goodness, and we know that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Lord, we ask for a spiritual revival in our lives. Revive our prayer lives, our worship, and our devotion to your word. Let your Holy Spirit ignite a fire in us that cannot be quenched. We want to walk in close fellowship with you, hearing your voice and following your leading. May your goodness be evident in our spiritual lives, drawing us ever closer to you. Father, as we receive your goodness, help us to extend that goodness to others. Teach us to love as you love. Fill our hearts with compassion for those who are hurting and give us the grace to be a light to those in need. Help us to see others through your eyes and to be instruments of your peace, kindness, and mercy. Lord, where there is hatred, let us sow love. 
Where there is injury, let us bring healing. Where there is discord, let us be peacemakers. May your goodness flow through us, that we may be a reflection of your love in this world. Teach us to forgive as you have forgiven us, and to show mercy as you have shown mercy to us. Let our lives be a testimony of your goodness and grace. Lord, we thank you for this time of prayer and reflection. We believe that your goodness is already at work in our lives, and we stand in faith, expecting to see the manifestation of your blessings, breakthroughs, and healing. We trust in your unfailing love, and we commit ourselves to walk in your goodness every day. Father, we seal this prayer in the name of Jesus, believing that you have heard our cries and will answer according to your perfect will. May your goodness continue to follow us all the days of our lives, and may we dwell in your presence forever. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. Remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within you.